How's it going, guys? Past level question from SK Genetics Step 1 Intro Medicine 2CK. Before we start, subscribe my channel. I really appreciate it. Give you a like. Really appreciate it. If I'm on Instagram, I'm an underscore medical, NHL, man underscore medical links down below. I mean, Telegram links to Telegram group and channel down below. Let's start the clip. Five year old boy brought to the physician by his parents for poor motor development. He has a waddling gait enlargement of the calf muscles. He has difficulty standing up from a seated position on the floor and uses his arms to support himself. Serum CK is elevated, which the following is most likely to be seen as patient. As I said, past level questions. Some of you were like, Mike, this question's too easy. Don't know what to tell you, all right? I mean, I'm making high yield cues here. That's what I'm doing. It's not nitpicky nonsense. So this is clearly Gower maneuver. This is Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Uh, the kid has weakness of the pelvic girdle muscles and other leg muscles, calf muscles, and will have difficulty standing up without using the arms. So it's just a uh, strange walking maneuver, but you just need to know this is very buzzy called the Gower maneuver for Duchenne. So you can have elevated CK. This just means we have muscle damage. So Duchenne muscular dystrophy, X-linked recessive disorder. Okay, that's passable for starters. If you don't know the inheritance pattern, you fail you assimilate. It's not to fear monger, but it's quite possibly one of the highest yield genetics disorders in US Amelia. Okay, so it's, it's X linked recessive, um, mutation in the DMD gene, dystrophin gene, and the frame shift mutation will cause Duchenne, which is going to be a sick kid here. So a young kid uh, with poor muscle development. And if it's, that's, that's a frame shift mutation. And if it's not a frame shift mutation, mutation, just a missense mutation that does not result in a stop codon, that'll be the less severe uh, Becker muscular dystrophy, which will be a teenager, young adult. You simply tends not to assess Becker too often. I'd say in terms of five hypothetical DMD gene mutation questions, uh, four out of five will be Duchenne, one out of five will be Becker. So let's just look at the three XR answers here and say, well, which one is it going to be? And our correct answer, very short clip here, not dramatic. Our correct answer is going to be this last one, which is replacement of the muscle cells by connective tissue stromal cells, which is essentially what the USMLE and NBME question has as the answer. This is known as fibroadipose tissue. It's called pseudo hypertrophy. It's not actual hypertrophy of the muscle cells. It's enlargement of the muscles, but it's replacement of the muscle fibrils with fibroadipose tissue. Okay. So Duchenne muscular dystrophy, X-linked recessive. You need to know that dystrophin gene, DMD gene codes for alpha beta dystrophy glycan or dystroglycan, which helps anchor the cytoskeleton within the muscle cell to the extracellular matrix. Okay. So they can give you the same fucking question here and ask you which organelle is fucked up. And the answer will just be cytoskeleton. Okay. They're going to mitochondria. So I've seen students choose mitochondria. It's wrong fucking answer. If they want a mitochondrial disorder, not only will it be strict maternal inheritance, they'll often make a point about that. If they don't overtly make a point about strict maternal inheritance, be careful. It's not excellent recessive where you have maternal inheritance. It's uh, only mothers transmit it, but they'll cl classically give you a triad for mitochondrial disorders. We're going to get lack, number one, lactic acidosis, number two, hypotonia, number three, eye and or ear problems which apparently uh, require lots of mitochondria, okay? So they'll just give you like a two-liner. They'll just say, kid has lactic acidosis, hypotonia, and eye or ear problems. And the answer is just like, uh, one of them, it'll just be mitochondria as the answer. Or it could be heteroplasmy, uh, which refers to mitochondrial disorders, where you have variable presentation in the children, depending on the percentage slash allotment of the disease mitochondrial genes, making this clip more about mitochondrial disorders. But I just need to have that as a high yield contrast because students fuck that up. This in contrast, this is just Duchenne muscular dystrophy and cytoskeleton is the answer. X-linked recessive disorder and you get fibroadipose tissue. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel and I appreciate your time. That's it.